Epcot's 20th Annual Food and Wine Festival, a food review, as I am not an alcohol drinker. Ireland, a lobster and seafood fisherman's pie. Though the lobster was small, it was very juicy. It was so good that I had to have it twice. Not in the same day, of course. New Zealand. Steamed mussels and lamb meatball. Italy. Ravioli. Marsalas. Canada. Cheese soup. And a filet mignon with a truffle butter sauce. My friend's was overdone. But mine, being medium rare, was very juicy. Patagonia. Beef empanadas and a grilled beef skewers with chimichurri sauce, hops and barley, a New England lobster roll. It was very fresh and very tasty. Belgium, with a potato and leek waffles and braised beef. Australia, spicy bush shrimp with pineapples, grilled lamb chops, Mexico, tacos de camaron, and seasoned chicken topped with sour cream and cilantro. Poland, Kielbasa pierogies with onions and sour cream. Japan. A spicy hand tuna roll. Morocco. Kefta pocket and baklava. Brazil. A layered meat pie and crispy pork belly. Greece. Moussaka. Heroes and Greek salad. Scotland. Seared sea scallops and my tasting haggis for the first time. Here's a girl from Hawaii who said, Welcome to Scotland Food and Wine 2015. I'm Rachel, make me famous. <laughs> All right. So we have for you a haggis, which is sheep stomach, heart, liver, and organs mashed together. It looks like ground beef. It is not ground beef. I had it once, never again. Enjoy. The haggis was pretty good, though I can see why some people would say it was an acquired taste. Hawaii. Kalua Sliders, and new to the festival, Cheese Studio with artesian cheeses. Dominican Republic, roasted pork with mango, lechon asada. France, they had an escargot croissant. I've always loved snails, so this was a great taste. Every year Epcot has the Food and Wine Festival in October and November. I would recommend that everybody go and try the different foods from so many countries. It was a wonderful experience.